Hey guys, it's Jill. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. So, yes, I'm doing weekly vlogs and not daily vlogs. I was going to do the 12 days of Christmas, but y'all, I'm not going to lie. The performance of those videos were just like, uh, and it just, it was not worth it. I would rather put my time and my energy into videos that I know you guys truly love than to just throw up stuff just for the sake of it being a 12 days of Christmas or whatever. So yeah, we are just this week preparing for surgery and surgery is next Tuesday. And right now we're actually gonna go take an Instagram picture. A little bit behind the scenes of taking an Instagram picture. We're gonna go get, um, the kids were all for this cause I was like, uh, we were watching something about posing on Instagram and stuff like that because I would like to kind of change up my poses, change up my background, stuff like that. Because if you guys don't know, I deleted my last Instagram because creepy dudes just took over too much. And I mean, it was like literally 85% dudes and 15% women. And it wasn't like... These, these these dudes were just disgusting and gross. So I was just like, you know what? It, it just put a bad taste in my mouth. I was just, I was over Instagram. But I used to have so much fun with like putting outfits together and styling them and going to different places and taking pictures. So I was just like, you know what? It's really hard to start from scratch, especially, you know, you lose your swipe up um, because I don't have 10,000 followers anymore. Um, and there's like a bunch of stuff that I don't have anymore, but I'm starting from scratch But I think this is the best for me So I wanted to give you guys a little clue if you want to take Instagram pictures But don't feel like getting ready like as far as makeup and stuff just throw on some sunglasses throw on some lipstick Which I'm gonna do um, After the fact after we go get Starbucks, but yeah they were all into it because I was like, oh, let's go get Starbies By the way me and Ava that was our word Right, Ava? We came up with that word like two years ago, wasn't it? Yeah. Like a while. And Contrell was so annoyed by it. And we were like, you can't get you can't get Starbies unless you say Starbies. And he's like, I'm not saying Starbies. Oh, oh, there's an Escalade behind us. It's a sign. It's a sign, y'all. It's a sign. Um, but yeah. And so I've heard a bunch of people calling it Starbies now. And I'm like, Ava, that's our word. And we like literally have never said it publicly. So... This is our public announcement to say that we came up with that word. <laughs> we came up with it, darn it. But anyways, they were all for it because we're like, we're going to go get Starbies. Anyways, my camera keeps falling. I need to get like a non-slip pad. I had bought something I thought was going to work, but it's not. So I got to take that back. Find a non-slip pad because this situation is just not working. Um, but yeah, we're doing, uh, we're back to weekly vlogs. We're not doing 12 days of Christmas. I don't even think you guys noticed, to be honest. So, like I said, really, you guys weren't watching, and so I'm just going to put my time and energy into videos I know you guys like. So, we're going to go to Starbies. We're going to get some props. I guess he's going to get a coffee. I'm going to get a hot chocolate. Hey, Escalade. You're going to be mine one day. So, anyways, we're going to pull up to Starbies, and then Ava's going to take some behind the fam behind the scenes footage of me and Control taking this picture. And I hope that you love the outfit. I love the outfit. And it's really cute. And go follow me on my new Instagram. It's Miss Green Eyes 1380. So we will check you guys later. Standing on the porch in the night, thinking how we used to be way back in time. In time. Put on the grass, open skies I can feel it every time I close my eyes My eyes, yeah Can you remember when we were young and free Like queens up on the thrones Um, hi, um just one second, please. Take your time, hon. Just order whatever you're ready. Okay, thank you. Um, let's see. Um, do you guys have um, egg white bites? Let me check really fast on those egg white bites. I believe I do, honey. You want to get one of those? Yes, please. All right, love. What else for you? Um, what was it you guys wanted? The Was it the... I want the I can't the toasted white chocolate, like 
frappuccino thing. I'm sorry, with. one second. Um, I'm gonna do a... Okay, so this is why I never come to Starbucks. Our order is $25.49. We could have went and had a nice lunch for that. Hey, honey, it's a big 25 for... Oh, you look so toasty today. <laughs> I'm jealous. There's that for you. Oh, sorry. That's okay. All right, there's that hot chocolate for you, honey. Thank you. And we're getting the rest of it up right now. Okay. Do you actually want a drink carrier? Um, no, yeah, we'll be fine. Is that throwing it at everybody? Yeah, I thank you. <laughs> Here's these two toasted my mocha. I'm gonna grab okay. the straws too, honey. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Wait, can me and Ava both get the same thing? Mm hmm. Oh. And there's those two straws. Thank you. Alright, and then I just call you. Oh. There's those egg white bites, honey, and I'm Thank gonna you. give you those. Hey. Oh, dang it. I don't know if you're out of the Yeah, there is coffee in there. There you go, honey. Thank you so much. You too. Chocolate. Thank you, Ava. I'll let you try mine because the person on the video said it had sugar cookies in it or something. Oh my gosh, that woman was so nice. I swear, people need to be more like that in customer service because it just makes you, you feel so good and so special when they're just so kind to you. Um, I want to try my, I got a white, was it, oh, a, oh, ooh. Mmm. I don't know about you guys, but I love peppermint hot chocolate. It's so freaking good. I actually just got some, um, K-Pods. For the Keurig, oh my gosh, that's so freaking good. And then I get the peppermint mocha creamer and I put it in my hot chocolate and it is so freaking good. But anyways, we're going to go up mm. to this place and I'm going to taste their frappuccinos. I'm going to taste my egg bites mm. and we're going to get these pictures bites. done. I'm excited. Who's excited? Mm. <laughs> I'm all like, who's excited? They're like me. Show some excitement! Uh, sometimes I have to hype them up, y'all. I have to hype them up. I have to um. hype them up. Because <laughs> where, wherever it says it's, it's good, then as I walk, you can, you can walk back. But just go this way because I don't want you running into that car. Good? Ready? So we take the pictures and then we got to look to see, do we like them? I like them a lot. I think it's good lighting, obviously. Y'all, literally, you can't even tell that I'm not wearing makeup. That's like pro tip right there. Throw on some sunglasses, put on some lipstick, and you will never know I'm not wearing makeup. That was actually really quick because we got some really good ones. That one's really good. Oh, wow. That one's mm -hmm. really good. There's actually a lot of really good ones. Are these closers? Yeah. So we got some really good ones. Um, I'll show you guys some when we get back to the house. By the way, those egg white bites are bomb. I'm totally going to get a recipe. Here, can you hold this for me? I'm totally going to get a recipe. And... Um, um, your lipstick is like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally going to get a recipe and see if I can make them, um, for this coming up week. And then I might meal prep them for the next week for my surgery. I do like them, so if you were to make them, can you I You would eat them too? If you were uh, to, uh, the egg white whites, is that what you're talking about? That if you're going to make me some, can you not put like, don't put pepper the peppers. I would say you could keep the peppers in mind. But anyways, um, we're going to go. I've got to go back home and I've got to start filming a cosmetics and crimes. And that's why I didn't do my makeup because I knew I had to go back home and film that. And I also have to 
get a video up for my weight loss channel. Y'all, who is she? Do you guys see? I have a ton of hair and it looks amazing and I freaking love it so, so much. Even Critique Contrell could not tell the difference between the extension and my real hair. And he's Mr. Perfectionist and can tell any little thing that's fake and he couldn't even tell it was so funny because he was all like this is your real hair this is your fake hair and i was like oh really oh really because you're actually pulling on the extension right now saying it's my real hair he was like really fooled him and then i also did this look for cosmetics and crime which i am feeling it's a sunday evening 5 22 p.m I'm sitting here battling a sore throat, praying I don't have COVID. <laughs> Literally, y'all, have you been like every little sore throat, every little sneeze, every little like tiny bit of chest congestion? Are you like, Rona, is that you? By the way, I wanted to mention to you guys to remind me to never get Starbucks again because every time I get Starbucks, I get super jittery. I don't care if it's not caffeine. I think it's just like when I put in the nutrition information and I looked, it said that the hot chocolate only had 25 milligrams of caffeine, which isn't a lot at all. But I think it was that combined with the huge amount of sugar that was in there. I came home and I was like, oh, I feel like crap. Like I felt like absolute crap. So I'm like, note to self, this happened last time. I actually almost got a panic attack. Not quite a panic attack, but just like really, really, really anxious for like no reason. I felt like that the last time I had Starbucks. So I was like, we're not doing it again. So we can just make our hot chocolate with our peppermint mocha at home. <laughs> It'll be way less fattening, way less sugar, and way less jitter inducing. So yeah. I will see you guys tomorrow or sometime this week because like I said, tomorrow, got a lot of filming to do. Tuesday same, Wednesday same, Thursday same, Friday same, Saturday same, Sunday same, Monday same. And then Tuesday, I'm going to have surgery. I'm never going to have another period again. Can you all tell? I'm like actually so looking forward to this surgery where last time I was like such a nervous wreck. I was like, I can't believe my surgery is in nine days because I am... Cool as a cucumber. I am calm as a, what's really calm? I don't know. All right, I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, so it is Monday and, huh? Yeah. Hey guys, it is Monday and I just finished doing a meal prep and y'all, it took me less than a minute. Filming, uh, well, Kentrell actually browned the ground beef. So technically, I guess I can't take credit for that. Um, he did the ground beef while me and Ava chopped up vegetables, but literally eight full meals that are going to go in the freezer in less than an hour. Seriously, you can't beat that. What is up with my blush and my bronzer today? I don't like the way it looks, but whatever. Um, me and Ava actually are about, because I loved those egg bites so much from Starbucks yesterday that once we clean up and then I'm going to take a thumbnail for this freezer meal prep video, her and I are going to make a copycat Starbucks egg bites. So fingers crossed they come out as amazing as they were yesterday because OMG, they were so freaking good. And that will be another thing. I'm trying to eat clean. No, I am eating clean this whole week. 
So that'll be a really great breakfast for me to have and also her as well. Okay guys, so there is a recipe I found that we're making for mommy because it's only two ingredients. So the first ingredient is a pound of strawberries and they need to be frozen. So what I did is I, I like rinsed them off and stuff and I didn't dry them off because it would help them freeze faster. And then you need honey. You need um, one fourth of a cup. I don't, okay, yeah. One fourth of a cup of honey. <clears throat> and you're gonna blend it all up and it's going to turn into like um a sherbet i think that's what it's called yeah like a or like an italian ice stuff like that and i guess if you want to you could add a little more sugar or like add sugar if you want or you can add more honey but you're gonna blend it up basically and i will show you what it looks like in a minute not a minute actually like three hours so all right so for these we are doubling i will link this recipe down below you're gonna need eight eggs, eight pieces of bacon, because I'm doubling. Eight eggs, eight pieces of bacon, three cups of shredded cheese, one cup of cottage cheese, one half cup of heavy cream. It says one teaspoon of hot sauce. Eh, do I even have hot sauce? I don't know, hold on, let me check. I don't have hot sauce. I'm just gonna add some salt and pepper. And then I also have some chopped up spinach over here. And, this bacon, I buy it pre-cooked. So, so basically you just put all of the, the eggs, the cottage cheese, the cheese, the salt, the pepper, and the heavy cream into your blender, blend it up, and then you're going to take whatever toppings basically that you want in your egg bites, you're just gonna put them basically in the bottom. I thought I had two of these, apparently I only have one. So we're just gonna kind of do it like this. And yeah, that's going to be our egg bites. Then you put in, let's see, what does it say? It says for you to put in one cup of water to the bottom of your Instant Pot. You place your trivet inside. Um, you cover this thing with parchment paper and then you cover it with foil and you set it to steam or high pressure for 10 minutes and then you let it natural release so that's it hopefully these come out tasting amazing want to keep it nice and clean not freak out and cause a scene i try to hold it together keep it together not sure who I really am Just be cute and super bland I try to hold it together Keep it together Been playing it down But I'm so getting tired Now won't you meet high Cause I've been feeling Feeling that crazy And I need to lose control So baby put the record on Baby put the record on Hit it And I Okay, so the eggs are all done. I can go ahead 
take this out very carefully because this is very hot. And we're gonna start on our second batch. Y'all, I am beat, completely beat, and I still have that clean with me to edit. <laughs> I just want to lay down and go to bed, but it is 5.08. I have meatloaf, potatoes, and carrots in the oven for dinner tonight, and these were kind of a fail. First of all, the way that, because I don't have an actual Instant Pot, I can't put two, even if I had two of those silicone things, I can't put two in at the same time. So, it will take me forever to do this double recipe, and it has taken me forever to do so. And then, it was pretty much a fail, like, this is what they look like, but then we also have like pieces that were stuck. I don't know what I did. The first time it stuck, so I was like, okay, let me spray the bottom. I sprayed the bottom the second time, same thing. They were still all stuck, so I'm just like, I don't know. We're on our third batch. This one I think has like four or five. We'll see. I don't know what I did wrong, but it was a slight fail. They taste delicious, so whatever they just stuck and were kind of cumbersome to get out and kind of a pain in the butt but i'm toast i'm exhausted and once dinner's ready y'all i never even set a timer <laughs> do y'all oh i hope i don't set off a fire alarm okay we look like we're good, but how did I not set a timer? Doing two things, doing too much at the same time. That's just all I have to say. Totally forgot. Dang timer. What is wrong with me? This is dinner. This is what it looks like. It definitely needs more time, so we're good, but I'm going to set a timer for like maybe 10 minutes. Hopefully it'll work out and be delicious. So, 10 minute timer. How do y'all keep these things clean? Do you just have to like wipe them down every day? Because man, I just spent like tons of time cleaning off my stainless steel and all of these little things so they're not all fingerprinty and stuff and now they're all gross again. I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and go finish up these uh, egg bites, eat dinner, go edit as much as I can, but y'all know me, as soon as I start I can't stop, so hopefully it just won't take me that long, and yeah, I'll check in with you guys later, tomorrow, later sometime this week, whatever. Hey guys, happy Tuesday, so today we are about to head out to the UPS store so I can return something to Amazon. And we gotta head over to Control School to return some books so he can be exempt from finals, midterms, midterms. I don't know why they need the book back, books back, but whatever. So we gotta go there. And I'm coming back here and I'm filming a get ready, get ready with me for my weight loss channel. And then today it's going to be full. I mean full of editing, but yeah. We'll check in with you guys later. We head over to the UPS store. I feel like I live there because I feel like I've been returning so many Amazon packages there. But anyways, we will check in with you guys later. Where you move, make me blind. You will always be there. There's no doubt in my mind. You will always be the heading out to see ya and leave the rest behind. Okay, okay guys, so. It, I just let the strawberries freeze overnight, and then I added honey in the blender, and I also added some water, and then it's going to look like this, and then it's going to turn into homemade Italian ice. 
and that's what it is. And as you can see, she has absolutely no idea what I'm making. I mean, I kind of have an idea because I was there while you were making but, it. But you have no idea. No, but I did taste it and it tasted good. Okay. Hey guys, so it is Wednesday, 9.24 a.m. I'm on my way to pre-op. And I'm kind of nervous. I'm, I'm definitely starting to get nervous for sure. Um... I'm trying not to and I keep every time I feel like that little bit of nervousness come up I try to remember hey you're never gonna have another period again um, I went and I looked at my chart yesterday last night online and I was like I noticed that they set aside a hundred and fifty minutes I think for our surgery and I was like oh shoot so I don't know if he's projecting that it's going to be a two and a half hour surgery, but that kind of scares me a little bit. Uh, it's definitely something I'm going to talk about today, but I do know that he already talked to me about this a little bit. He's un really unsure and he, he probably can't give me an exact time in which the cert in which like the, the time, the amount of time. Y'all, I'm so nervous I can't even talk. <sighs> Take deep breaths, Jill. Now I'm, like, starting to shallow breathe. But, um, yeah, so he, uh, I remember him telling me that he really can't tell because I've had two C-sections, so I'm going to have scar tissue, and until he can actually see how much scar tissue I have, he really can't tell. <sighs> how much how long it's going to take so maybe that's just maybe they have to put that down to kind of reserve the operating room and that's how long they're going to reserve it for because it could take up to two and a half I know that he said one time he did one on a woman who had some really bad scar tissue and it took it was it took it ended up taking three hours this is normally a 45 minutes surgery but again because I've had two c-sections it's probably gonna be a little longer than that but it's okay um, also my silly behind Yesterday I was out and about running errands. You guys know I went to the UPS store and control school. And my gas light came on. I'm going to go ahead and stop now. I was like, I'm going to stop when I go get my mom, but I'm going to stop now. But yeah, I was like, oh crap, I got to get gas. Why did I not do this yesterday, y'all? Why did I not do this yesterday? I don't know, but I'm going to go do it right now. Fingers crossed I'm not going to be late to my appointment. I'm supposed to be there at 10.15, but my appointment doesn't start until 10.30, so, I mean, I still have an hour. I should be good, but, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get gas real quick, Whew, and I'll check in with you guys later. I'm always so nervous to give blood. Like, I am so nervous to give blood, and I keep telling myself, last pre-op, I was so nervous, and that's the thing I was the most nervous about. And it literally went by so quick. I was like, wait, are you done? And I was like, are you freaking kidding me? I was nervous for this long for nothing. And I keep telling myself that today, but it's still, it's just like whatever. So anyways, I'm going to go get this blood. No, pfft. I'm going to go. Should I hope I have it? Yes, I No, I don't. Do I? I hope I have a glove. I do. But I'm going to go put some gas in this car. And I will check in with you guys later. Okay, so that's done. Do you guys remember the days when you used to have, um, when you used to have to balance, like, do you guys remember the days before online banking when you actually had to balance your checkbook and you would get gas and you would try to get it to an even amount to where there weren't any cents? I don't know if you actually ever did that. I've always done that and still to this day do that. So mine was 
24, but then I made a mistake and I tried to stop it at 24, but I went to 2401. So it's, it's funny cause I sat there and I was like, Jill, why do you still do this? <laughs> like, I remember why you used to do this before when you used to have to balance your checkbook and didn't have online banking and you actually had to like write everything that you spent in. Do y'all remember those days? Oh, I don't miss those days. Although I actually used to enjoy that. I love budgeting and um, balancing checkbooks and stuff like that. And just like seeing the numbers go to zero. I just, I just love that. Or not the numbers go to zero, but you know, whatever you're balancing, the numbers show up perfect. I just love perfection. It's a little... I guess a good thing and a bad thing about me because there is no such thing as perfection but yeah anyways i will for real check you guys later and tell you how pre-op went where you move make me blind you will always be there there's no doubt in my mind you will always be there heading out to see ya and leave the rest behind That's all I have to say. That's all I have to say. <laughs> they took more blood this time around. I almost had a panic attack. I was lightheaded pretty much the whole entire time that I was there. I had to have a bright yellow bracelet that said risk of falling. <laughs> like I was an old woman. So yeah. And they also told me that I'm going to have to do the surgery 100% alone. Visitors as of tomorrow are not allowed in the hospital, only patients. That includes surgery. So that means my mom cannot come to surgery with me. My mom cannot stay with me overnight. So I will be 100% alone before surgery. After surgery, I asked her, I was like, okay, my surgery's at 7.30, so, you know, I gotta stay overnight. Does this mean, like, on Wednesday morning I'll be released at, like, 7.30 in the morning? She's like, oh, no, more like 11.30, 12. And I'm like, okay. Well, <laughs> please pray for me, number one. Number two, Please pray that the surgery does not get canceled because that is still very much so a small possibility. 
So I'm grateful that they are still doing surgeries. So I'm not trying to freak out too much. I'm not trying to hone in on the fact that I'm having to do this alone. Um, but this does suck. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here because I know me and I'm going to just be heavily working for the next today, the rest of today, which it's four. I didn't get home till like 2.33. Um, yeah, the rest of today I'm going to be working. Tomorrow I'm working all day. Friday I'm working all day. Saturday I'm working all day. Sunday I'm working all day. This has got to go up Sunday. So I'm like in the editing mode. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. It's really long anyway. So I was like, it'll be perfect. But I hope that you guys enjoy. Please pray for me, my sanity, my anxiety. Um, that I don't go crazy with like, uh, there's just so much. There's so, it's so much for me to process the fact that, COVID freaking sucks and I have to do this alone. I also have to go get a COVID test on Monday and I have to go all the way back to the hospital to do it. I can't go right up the street like I did with my first surgery because they're just changing everything. It's just lovely. I love you guys. I hope that you're having an amazing day. I hope you guys are staying safe and sane. And when you guys see this on Sunday, it'll be two days until surgery. So most likely there probably won't be a vlog up next Sunday, but if I don't get a vlog up, I will most certainly update you guys on my progress and my surgery and everything on Instagram. So make sure you're following me over there, Miss Green Eyes 1380. And I maybe will film and after surgery post-op update and have that up on Sunday, or I might just have another video. So if you guys wanna keep up to date with what's going on, how I'm feeling and all that stuff, definitely follow me on Instagram because that's where I'm gonna be posting or updating you guys. I love you guys, have an amazing day, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.